Okay, and finally, stacking electronic drummers. Um, and we can do this for creative purposes or for reasons of necessity. Okay, first of all, for reasons of necessity, um, I've got Julian here on the track. Okay, now, if I want Julian to play kick pattern two, but a different snare pattern, maybe snare pattern four, I can't do that. The snare and the kick are in the same layer, so I can only choose one pattern for that layer. The snare and the kick, if they're both active, are, are going to be doing one of these patterns. But if I want the kick and the snare to play a completely different pattern, the only way to do it is to stack drummers, right? So I can have one instance of Julian playing kick pattern two, for example, here. Right, let's take the variation off and everything. Right, that's Julian playing kick pattern two. Then I'll make another instance of Julian, like this. And in this instance of Julian, let's switch it to Julian, I'm going to have Julian playing just the snare. Okay, only the snare. But I can choose a different pattern now. I could choose um, that one pattern. Okay, so by stacking two instances of Julian, I can have Julian playing the kick pattern two and the snare pattern three. That's the only way to do it, stack drummers, right? But otherwise, you stack drummers for creative purposes um, because that gives you beats you can't possibly get from one drummer. So we'll keep Julian here doing the kick, and then the second drummer track, I'm going to switch this to layer. Okay. Um, let's have layer. Now, let's have Magnus here. All right, Magnus, and we'll, we'll use Magnus for the shaker and hats. Okay. Put some swing on. We'll have Magnus doing shaker and hats here. All right, and um, let's see what he's got to go with the kick from Julian. Pattern one, pattern two, pattern three. Yeah, pattern three, fine. I like that one, right? And now I can add a third drummer if I like. I'll add a third electronic drummer, okay? And on this one, I'm going to put Leah or Leia, right? And we can have Leia, let's have her doing the snare. Okay, just the snare. So I'll bring in the snare there. No fills, put some swing on in case she's got any sixteenths in that in her snare patterns, right? No variation. Full complexity range. Right, so this is Leia, let's try her different snares. Pattern one, well that looks like bump bump bump, B to the bar, every B to the bar. Okay, pattern two is twos and fours, isn't it? Yeah. Pattern three. Pattern four, yeah, we'll go with that pattern for, for, for Leia doing the snare. Okay, so now I've got Julian Kick, Magnus Shaker and Hats, Leia doing the snare. And it's a beat I can't get for one drummer. Okay, and then let's bring in a fourth drummer. But with this one, I'm gonna go with a different category. I'm gonna go with the category alternative. And in there, you've got this Maya or Maya drummer. Now she does 80s electronic style drumming, All right? So I'm gonna try her percussion. Let's just try only the percussion for her. Again, I'll put 16th swing on in case she's got any 16ths in her patterns, All right? No human eyes, no phrase variation. And let's see, no fills, and let's see what Maya or Maya has got in her percussion layer. No. No. I'm a bit busy. I'm not, I mean, I'm just working at them at fairly full complexity. I'm going to back that off and see what. Right, but let's keep going. Uh, four, pattern four. Yeah, fantastic. Let's back that off a bit in complexity. Could be like that or a little bit more complex, whatever, you know. With the doubles there, do do or not. Let's have it like that. And there I've got a new beat, which I couldn't possibly get from one drummer alone. Um, and then if you want to, you can quickly change the sounds. I'm not keen on the snare sound. I like this pattern layers doing of the snare. Not too keen on the sound of the snare, it's a bit fizzy. Now to change a sound is really easy. We're gonna get into this with the drum machine designer next, but I'll just quickly do it. I select the track, 
for layer, which is just doing the snare, select our track. Here's the channel for the track here, and at the top is the drum machine designer there, look. And I click on that to open it. And let's see where the snare is she's triggering. There's the snare. So I select it. It's a bit fizzy. And because I've selected this snare pad in the library here, it brings up all the drum machine designer snare category drums. So I'll just choose a different one. I'm going to go with this boom bap. Hey presto, a completely different beat you couldn't possibly get from one drummer alone. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this will be putting some CPU strain extra on my Mac, but it, it's not a lot. Look at the CPU meter up here. If you want to see that, you change this display from its default beats and project to custom, and then you've got the CPU meter there. Um, it's not, you know, I've got four completely different kits loaded, even though only one or two drums in each kit are being played, triggered, each drum kit, every sample in every kit is being loaded into memory. This is just a 3.4 gig latest model iMac, not not the Retina one, but only with 8 gig of RAM. But look at the CPU meter, it's not, it's not mega. It's not really stressing the machine out much. Okay, so that's your final technique. Stacking electronic drummers, which you do either for reasons of necessity, as I say, maybe you've got two drums in the same layer that you want to play different patterns. Another reason could be that you want a certain amount of phrase variation for the kick and clap layer and snare layer, but you want a different amount of phrase variation for the high end shakers and hats layer, in which case you'd st stack two of the same drummer, each one with a different amount of phrase variation. Um, or you do it for reasons of creativity like this, to get patterns you can't possibly get from one drummer alone. And remember that you can mix and match all these techniques. You can stack drummers like this, but any parts of these drumming regions can be chopped with scissors and converted to MIDI notes to make custom variations or to make custom fills with MIDI notes, etc. And one last thing, remember at the beginning when I talked about making custom preset patterns and I said it's useful to make just kick patterns, just snare and clap patterns, just shaker and hat patterns. Well, they come in useful when you're stacking drummers like this because you can load just the kick patterns, just the snare and clap patterns, just the shaker and hat high end patterns into whichever drummer in the stack is doing that particular layer. Okay, so that's your final technique. That's the electronic drummers. Um, and now let's move on and look at the actual drum machine designer, which is the default kit all these electronic drummers play.